Hello, uh, my name is Melissa Malmberg, and this is my nursing care plan um, presentation for Nursing 301, um, the Newman Systems model for Grace Peterson. The client that I decided to um, um, interview for my care plan is actually my landlord, and she lives very close to me, so um, she was... Um, easy to uh, sit down with and interview and spend some time with so and she is also a retired nurse so she was able to uh, give me some ideas for my care plan as well and we worked with nursing nursing diagnoses together which she found fun and and so did I so um, first I'm just going to go over uh, the reason I selected my client and just a, a brief client overview which is of course in my paper um, my client is referred to as PC in my paper. Those are her, in, her initials. PC is a 65-year-old female who recently underwent surgery on her left shoulder. She had been having pain in her shoulder for the past year and decided this spring to consult with an orthopedic surgeon about having the repair performed. Her surgery was more extensive than originally planned, uh, and this client had a significant amount of degenerative changes when they actually went in there to do surgery. So um, in addition to a tendon repair and a rotator cuff repair, she also had her deltoid split, and that was um, reattached and, and repaired, and then she had a cleaning of the inside of the joint as well. So by the time she got out of surgery, um, the surgery took a long time, and when she got out, she was in a, a fair amount of pain. Because of the extensive nature of the repair, PC was admitted to the hospital as an extended outpatient for pain control. She was placed on a PCA pump and given IV Toradol as well as oral analgesics as well. And she remained in the hospital for two days after her surgery as an extended outpatient. And um, by the time she got home, her pain was not well under control. Uh, as, and she was sent home with Percocet, and it did take her a few days to actually um, get under better control. Uh, and actually, after the home health, health nurse came and changed her dressing for the first time and took out her pain pump, then she started to feel a little bit better. Um, upon discharge from the hospital, she was placed in a sling and an immobilizer, and she was given instructions not to move that arm. She could exercise her fingers, but she wasn't able to move her shoulder at all. Um, PC continued to have pain when she went home. She also expressed frustration with her discharge planning and felt that her dressing changes, uh, dressing change needs should have been addressed uh, prior to discharge as well as the removal of her pain pump. However, she's very resourceful, and when she got home, she called Home Health herself, and uh, she had that taken care of. She made a, uh, an appointment with Home Health independently, and her home health needs were taken care of. She continues to be immobilized. However, her pain medication is now working better for her, and she started therapy this week. She's slowly making steady progress toward recovery. PC has a medical history of arthritis, fibromyalgia, hypertension, and osteoporosis. These diagnoses really don't uh, keep her down. She's a very active woman. She gardens and take cares, uh, takes care of her lawn. Uh, she also does a lot of housework, and she's very active in the community. She does volunteer work a lot, and she bakes and visits her friends, and she's, she's quite active. And uh, she, she also goes for a daily walk every day. Um, in general, this client pursues an optimal state of wellness. She strengthens her flexible line of defense by exercising regularly, watching her diet, remaining active in the, within the community, and she has a very good family support system around her. And I chose her, I went over this briefly, because uh, first of all, she was my landlord, so she was easily accessible, and she and I are good friends. And also because um, she was a nurse, and um, she, when she was discharged from the hospital, she didn't feel that her discharge planning was adequate, and she felt that the nurses, uh, in addition to the care plan that was initiated in the hospital, should have taken care of her after discharge, and they should have made more of an effort um, to make sure that she was okay when she went home. Uh, one thing that she was particularly upset about was that they, uh, there was an expectation that her husband would pull 
the the pain pump when she got home and um, she was not comfortable with him doing that so uh, like I said though she is very resourceful and she did call home health and was able to get that taken care of uh, also I chose her because uh, she does have a very I was able to assess all of the variables on her, and she does have a very uh, strong support system. Although her uh, flexible and normal line of defense were um, breached because she was in so much pain, and uh, the the degree of uh, the procedure that was done on her shoulder was very extensive. She has the rest of her variables were actually quite stable, and her coping skills are very very good. So I found her a very interesting client. Her normal line of defense was breached with the recovery after her surgery. My client was no longer able to perform basic activities of daily living. She continued to have issues with pain control upon returning to home and experienced sleep deprivation as well, which ran her down further and made her um, less able to cope with the pain. In addition, she had to cope with a temporary loss of mobility to her right arm, and that is her dominant arm. Physically, her stress seemed to be overwhelming to her initially, and she wasn't no she wasn't sure what to do about that. She was even considering uh, asking the doctor if she could be readmitted to the hospital for pain control because she just wasn't getting any relief at least the first couple of days. Uh, she entered a state of illness due the due to the lack of basic needs. Her basic needs being satisfied, she was out of balance physically and psychologically because of her pain and immobility. Just to review, the five variables are physical, psychological, developmental, sociocultural, and spiritual. My client was fortunate to have a strong faith uh, as well as an extensive support system surrounding her. Spiritually as well as social culturally, she was largely in balance. She had family members that traveled from all over the state, from Kenosha, um, also from um, northern Minnesota and from Michigan to take care of her. They kind of took turns. She has six children, so they kind of took turns taking care of her as well as community members would bring meals over and make sure that she was comfortable and home health visited quite frequently as well. And I spent some time over there taking care of her as well. So she, she had a great support system when she came home. Also in terms of developmentally, my client is a retired nurse who understands the healing process and she's very patient. She's willing to seek and accept help as needed and she makes appropriate recovery goal goals for herself. Stressors, we talked um, quite a bit about this, her, her life and her health in general as well as her immediate stressors and how she felt about just the different variables in her life and, and what was going on and her concerns for the future also. Uh, my client stated that her pain was her largest concern right now as well as her immobility and um, constipation as a result of the pain medication that she was taking and because, that she, is, because she is sedentary right now was uh, a major discomfort for her. She was started on, um, she was making sure that she was taking a lot of fluids and started on a stool softener and a fiber laxative, but it, it just wasn't working very well with her because she was on high doses of pain medication. Interpersonal stressors for this patient that we identified. Um, she has a history of chronic arthritis, fibromyalgia, hypertension, and osteoporosis, which we mentioned before. She's also um, has anxiety over pain management and anxiety over growing older and being less physical.